Hey guys, welcome to the Cosplay Closet. I am Chloe Dykstra. I do lots of things in front of cameras, but I also have a little hobby that you guys might be familiar with. She's a cosplayer. And this is Katie Elhofer, who is also a cosplayer and also an awesome fashion designer over at Geeky Fashion Company. We love fine. I get to make awesome things for a living, so I'm pretty happy. So Katie, uh, what the heck is the cosplay closet? Well, the cosplay closet is all about taking geeky cosplayers, stripping down their amazing costumes, and taking those elements and putting them into a fashion chic apparel item or style mm -hmm. that allows them to fit in amongst the muggles. Our first cosplay guest is a singer and songwriter and fashion blogger, Coda Way! Hi. How's it going? Good. At this point, you might have a little song going through your head. Let it go, let it go. I'm pretty sure that at any given moment, that song is playing somewhere on this planet. Uh, so if you don't know who she is yet, just turn yeah. on the TV, go outside, or we could just tell you. Yeah, uh, she's Elsa from Frozen. Yay! Let's take a look at the details in her costume and help translate that into the outfit that we're creating for her. So to start with on her costume, she's got a lot of sparkle, a lot of bling. Uh, we're gonna try to bring that into the final look. And then she also has some really good texture happening on this corset. Like you can see the different, uh, the different fabrics, the different sparkles. I also wanna bring in the flowiness of the cape and skirt that she's wearing um, and the textures that are in the skirt. I think we're gonna subdue the blue a bit uh, to make it a little bit frostier. We're gonna bring in some more of the greens uh, that are in her costume. So what we're gonna go for, since it's sort of springy, summery, is a summery, retro-inspired outfit that you can wear almost anywhere. But before we do that, we're gonna have Chloe teach you guys how to do some makeup so you can look like your favorite ice queen. <laughs> so we've got like a little bit of a sort of a, a darker, pinkier purple. Um, and we're gonna start by doing the crease, just as a base. And we want it to be sparkly because our lids are very sparkly. I actually have no idea what I'm doing and I'm definitely not qualified to be giving makeup tutorials. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a pink. This is like super crazy pink. This is a sugar pill palette. So I'm gonna blend it up a little bit. So we're gonna go over with a liquid liner. Yeah, it's fine. So now that we've shown you how to do the makeup, let's go ahead and get her into her second look. Get out of here, Elsa, go! go. You can't control go. your powers, get out! Koda, you ah. look so cute! Oh my god, it's so cute to see this on a body. Oh my god, you look gorgeous, how do you I feel? I love it, it's so cute. Would, would you wear this out? I so would. Like, I feel like you can wear it casual or like more dressed up like nighttime. It's so cute and comfortable. Oh, good. Can I see a little 360? Oh, little... <gasps> Katie, she looks so pretty. <laughs> so underneath the skirt, we have the petticoat, which it was important to get a soft laying petticoat and not a heavyweight petticoat, not a stiff one. Uh, this one even has lace at the bottom, which I feel brings in a real feminine look to the whole piece. The T-Lang skirt that we got is a mint green to make it feel more like springtime. Uh, and we're pairing that with the sparkled belt, which the sparkle belt, we're trying to pull in the look of her corset into the piece without making it too sparkly, too blingy. This keeps it very every day. Uh, we're pairing that also with the white blouse, which um, has covered plackets so you don't see the buttons and it keeps it even more feminine and classy. Uh, this is also a piece that can be worn with anything because it's so versatile. Uh, by adding the tie into it, with the, the, the burlap has small little glitter effects in it that you can barely see. It also updates the piece and makes it look a little bit more modern. The snowflake pin is just a little homage to Elsa. Uh, we wanted to keep a few snowflakes in the piece without making the whole piece snowflakes because it is, after all, a springtime look. We drew inspiration for the shoes from Elsa's pointed heels that she wears. The heels that she wears tend to look like they go off into nothing, so we, we kind of found shoes that were perfect for that. The blouse is from Forever 21, and that was $17.90. The burlap ribbon that we used to make the tie was $10 from Amazon. The snowflake pin was also from Amazon, and that was $10.99. And just because you can never have too many snowflakes, the snowflake hairpin is also from Amazon and was $11.99. The belt, also from Amazon, was $10. The skirt from Mod Cloth was 
The petticoat from Malco Modes under the skirt was $44.99, and those adorable little pointed flats from Brickell's were only $25.61. Thanks for watching The Cosplay Closet. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. And if you didn't, let it go. Bye, everybody! <laughs> Thanks for watching. We hope you liked the show. If you did, go ahead and click the like button down here and click subscribe. No big deal. You can follow us on Twitter at Skydart at L. Hoffer Design. Yeah, or leave us some comments. We'd love to know ideas for future shows or what you liked about this one. You know, awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, welcome to Judging by the Cover. Welcome to the Cosplay Closet. Hey guys, welcome to Take My Money. <laughs> Every Blizzard game ever. Except it makes a giant waffle in the shape of a keyboard. Yeah, I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts. Let's go. Pretty sure that at any given moment that song is playing somewhere on this planet. In those elements and putting them into a fashion. A cursed town. A fragmented sentence. Attempting to engage combat with a giant flaming beef jerky dog.